But first, big news about Google Career Certificates, which is Google's program aimed at providing career-specific education and validation of professional skills. It's a mouthful. The program is designed to be completed in six months, though there's no time limit for this. It helps folks interested in digital get on basically a faster track towards employment, regardless of their previous experience in the field or if they have any level of formal education whatsoever. So there's already a certificate out there that you can get. It's the IT Support Specialist Certification. But the news here and why we're talking about this is that they've announced three new courses that are coming soon. They don't specify when soon is, but soon sounds soon. And those three courses are <laughs> data analyst, <laughs> project manager, and UX designer. So those are all valid, uh, valid programs for our listeners here. And the certificate programs are all hosted on Coursera. So the fee is only $49 a month. So I'm not Google certified in math because they don't have that yet. But you, if you complete it in a six month time frame, <laughs> you can get the certification for under 300 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. And Google has also said that if that is expensive or you know out of range for you, they will have grants and scholarships made available even to help out with that $49 a month fee. So that is really, really nice to see. Oh, nice. And yeah, it's really nice. And after completing the course, it's not over. Certified individuals will have access to resources that can help them get a job and not just with Google either. They're going to help people find employment out in the world. And if you do want to work for Google, the good news is, according to the SVP of Global Affairs at Google, he said, and this is a quote, in our own hiring, we will now treat these new career certificates as the equivalent of a four-year degree for related roles. So that's huge, right? There's a lot of consideration, at least internally with Google, and hopefully Google's clout will help you um, elsewhere. I know so someone who I think will love this. Who? Greg Finn. <laughs> I couldn't love this more. Anti-college. I I am not anti-college. I'm anti-thinking that college means something, right? Like That's anti-college. <laughs> it's As not anti-college. Go yeah. to college, live your life. Have like I think Just there are do some it for fun. Look, I understand Shep, you're a hater, but if somebody came to me and said I took these, well actually, you know what? I take it all back. I'm anti this because I've gone through Google certification programs and it is hot garbage hot garbage. So I, but I do think that college is like ripe to be disrupted. And you see things like La, the Lambda school out there where they are trying to reconfigure college. And if these certifications and these degrees, A, they can be used at Google and any of the major tech companies out there. Why wouldn't you take these? Like, I, I don't care about what you went to school for. I kind of care about you as, as, generally my thought process. Tell, do you think that's wrong, Shep? So I guess you just don't care about the geography class that I took online at my liberal arts university. It's well, look, fine. I'm sure you're going to do better at Jeopardy and everything, but like, I don't know how that's going to help. I mean, I guess maybe you can, you can like dial right into the geographic zip code when you're targeting <laughs> ads or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I just think there's a lot of fluff in college. And then I think that people just generally don't know what they want to be when they're in college. I'm not as anti-college as you. I will say if these courses are good, that's pretty awesome. So question, yeah. did you go to college for the position you're in right now? No, I did mark. I did more than you guys did. I think I did marketing. I never took a marketing class in my life. And you have a higher degree, right, Jess? Yeah, in film and television. So watch out for and me. You, you don't even edit these shows. You don't <laughs> no. even edit these shows. I edit no, these my shows. skills are like 10 years old. I can't even do it anymore. I no, did I, go for marketing and I did go for computer science and I dropped out of computer science and just ended with marketing. So that sort of relates. But to be honest, I didn't learn anything in marketing that I use today. Yeah, in my I didn't entire really college. either. So yeah. that's why I am. You paid all that money and I get it. There are things that, that, that could be instilled into you to make you a better character and a better human. But I also think that if you have a good mentor or good people you're around, that can help happen too. And I don't know why people go so far into debt for things like this when you could take a certificate like this or go to the Lambda School or something like that. So Shep, you are correct. Maybe that makes me anti-college and good. I am then. And hopefully we can be pro these Google certifications because Greg, to your point, the other ones we've taken like Google ad certified, like unless applying recommendations in an account is a coveted job skill, like it's garbage, you don't need it. But hopefully if you're actually paying for these courses, there's something and they seem like they're going to carry quite a bit of weight. So 
give them a shot if you're interested. I mean, could, you know, at minimum, it costs you 49 bucks for a month and then you can quit. Try it. Yeah. And I'm actually going to backtrack in my anti-college because I heard that there's a college out there at Penn State that gets extra credit when they listen to Marketing O'Clock. <laughs> So I am only <laughs> for Penn State. And I think Penn State is the best college out there. And they have good ice cream too. But they do, Which right? We... Jess, you told me that about the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Extra yeah, I don't want to blow in the professor. You know if it's your course and you better be listening, kids. Stay in school. Like what you saw? Of course you did. If you're looking for more, Marketing and Clock releases new episodes every Friday with the digital marketing news of the week. You can subscribe wherever you consume your podcasts or click to watch the full episode, the next news story, or read all the articles from the show. 